We're from uh, the Liberal Party and we're, we're, we're looking for a new leader. Would you be interested? Don't know anything about the Liberal Party. We'll never have a clue. Congratulations, sir. You have the job. Well done. We're looking for uh, leaders of the Liberal Party. Would you be interested? Yeah, sure. Yep. Hey, here's some guys ugly. I'm better so, Don't talk into your ice cream. You talk into the microphone. That, that's what makes the words go big. What would you, uh, your qualifications be? Um, a station officer with a fire brigade. Do me one favour. Certainly. Make the speaker wear one of those really cool red hats. Yep. With a red light on top spinning around. Maybe not. Does the speaker go, eeyo, eeyo. Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, how would you feel about being leader of the Liberal Party? No. <laughs> so, so, I wasn't talking to you. How, how would you feel about being leader of the Liberal Party? You'd like that, wouldn't you? You yes, could be the would. leader of the party. Eeyo, eeyo. Who would you like to see as leader of the Liberal Party? Uh, McLaughlin, I think. I think he'd be a good man. Craig McLaughlin? <laughs> really? Because I did like his work with Czech One too, but... Eeyo, eeyo. They made uh, a colossal blunder. What was that? Last elections. It was walk over. Yeah, that was the GST. It was his GST. It was walk over. And if you were the leader, what would you have done? Scrap the GST and we would romp in. <laughs> really? Okay, well, uh, thanks, Mr. Yeltsin. Thanks for your time. I don't want to say anything because I think you'll take the piss out of me. That's no. so much. Oh, yes. Sorry. Listen. You've got the wrong program. Listen, you're carrying a handbag and you're wearing purple pants and a very cool shirt. How are we going to pull the piss out of you? You're doing a fine job on your own. Huh? Off to Parliament, are we, lads? Eeyo, eeyo, eeyo. Would you be a sort of a ruthless, iron-fisted leader? <laughs> yes, you would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, yes. You're not Senator Bronwyn Bishop, are you? Why, what's wrong with Ron Bronwyn Bishop? <laughs> Nothing. She's an absolute hornbag. <laughs> have to be joking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Bronwyn Bishop? Oh, I'm glad I didn't marry her. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think you're the Lone Ranger there, sir. What is it exactly you don't like about our show? Well, it's sick and it's it's not... It's it's funny, but it's not funny. It's, you mean it's kind of like the product of depraved minds? It is, exactly, yes. It's, it's sick and it's... Speaking of depraved minds, how do you like to be the leader of the Liberal Party? <laughs> Say you were running the Liberal Party, what would your policies be? What would you do to get the country back on course? Mm. Lamington like Drive? <laughs> so who's having your cabinet? Oh, I'd have to have you, Mick. I'd be in there? Yeah, you're a sleaze bag. You'd be treasury, mate. And yeah. obviously everyone in the country would have a little woolen vest with their name printed on. So it wouldn't say <laughs> Alan Beacon <laughs> Transport, it'd say Alan, leader of the Liberal Party. Hey, when do I get paid for appearance money on your show? Huh? Oh, go away, Alan. You're becoming yes. a pain. <laughs> I don't want to get into this. I just said I wanted to say I didn't like it. What are you interviewing train and, drivers um, for? Well, I'll just have it on the record. We've been called bad taste by Gypsy Woman. <laughs> uh, Andrew Denton last night. Right. And if your show is as good as he produces, That's I would great. stay up late night to watch. Our show's not really in the sort of Andrew Denton class. Ours is more down sort of like... Do you remember the Benny Hill show? Uh, would you like to be the new leader of the Liberal Party? No. Fine. No, I don't. <laughs>